everyone. Long time no see, right? Um, but this March has been what I call March Metal Madness. And why did I say that? Because in the matter of four weeks, I did five races. That's right, five five Ks. In in one particular instance, I raced two five Ks, one on Saturday and the other one on Sunday. The first 5K that I did this month was the Firecracker Run, and it was held in downtown LA in Chinatown, and it was basically celebrating the Lunar New Year, or the Chinese New Year, and this year was the Year of the Snake. I did this race along with my nephew's creators, aka his mom and dad, and since it was the Year of the Snake, this is the shirt that I got when I went there. Pretty nifty, huh? Also, when I was down at the race, I picked up this shirt. Now, this is the shirt from 2010, and the reason I got it is because it's Hunter's birth year, so I had to represent because I love my little man. When I finished, I got this nifty, um, basically this nifty medal. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't tell if it's blurry or not. It's one of my smallest medals, but it's pretty cool because it matches the shirt that I just showed you. Now, what was interesting about this race, even though I was supposed to be doing with Hunter's parents, what happened is his dad lost the keys to my sister's car, and so I ended up running the 5K by myself. And when I got finished, I was going to call them and be like, hey, you know, I'm here. Turns out that these, even though my sister was mad initially, and that's why she didn't do the 5K, she decided to run the race anyways, but they made them do the 10K because they had a late start, and it was all uphill because I did the uphill part, and they had to run around Dodger Stadium and all up and down the hills. I did like six hills, so they probably did 12. So I couldn't complain to them about like how, gosh, do you remember this hill at this point or at this point? Because they did twice as much as I did. And it's quite funny because my sister's always been really adamant about not doing a 10K because she felt that it was too much for her and she ended up doing one anyway. But the plus side of that is that I got to enjoy the beer garden. Oh yeah, I was drunk before 11 o'clock. So on to race number two. Now the very next race that I did the following weekend after the firecracker run was the awesome 80s run. And I was so stoked about this because I actually flew out to Las Vegas and visited my aunt and went to a Japanese restaurant but I also did a 5k. So here you go. What was cool about the awesome 80s run is that people were so into like dressing up. I wanted to dress up too. At first I was going to do Run DMC. But then I realized, like, I forgot the shirt that I wanted to wear, so I went a completely different route. And so, I decided to go the glam rock way, and I kind of looked like this. But I couldn't believe how small it was, because I guess they were expecting 4,000 people, but only 500 or 600 people show, like signed up. So they moved the location from downtown Las Vegas to a park and what was weird about that race in particular is that the water station was right before literally right before the finish line and I'm sorry I'm not gonna mess with my personal record just so I could stop and get a glass of water so I was like move out my way and pass the finish line and I received this medal pretty cool huh it looks like a cassette tape which is why I wanted to do it in the first place now, when I got back to California, I did a 5K with my sister, and it was called Run or Die, so that's what I'm going to talk about next. What was crazy about it is that I feel like the people who organized it, uh, too many people to sign up, because there were people signing up the day of the race, and we thought we were in the line to get to the starting line, but we were in the line for people who didn't pick up the packets the day before. So we got in the other line to get to the starting race, and that took us an hour and a half just to get to the starting line. By then, me and Amber had used all our rate, like the powdered dyes that we got for free. Like we lost all our momentum because we were in that line. So yeah, like I enjoyed the time just because Amber is not a person that gets dirty. I like the dirty, and it was just like hilarious. That was the fun part. My sister got so upset because I signed up for a race um, and didn't tell her about it, but it was sold out when I was going to, but she 
vows that she's gonna sign up for a 5k and not tell me about it. And this 5k was literally the day after the color run and it was called the coaster run and it was held at Knoxbury Farm and what's cool about that is that they gave everybody one of these shirts I ran with this shirt on I like that race because you actually got to run through um, the actual theme park and what's also cool I got to run through the second theme park in Knox which is called the Soak City I've never been there but there's some random chicken there I, don't, I know, right? Um, I crossed the finish line and I got this nifty medal, which also has Snoopy and Woodstock on it. Um, I did that with a bunch of my Weight Watchers members. Hey, you guys. We all enjoyed our free pie, which also was at the end of the race. Also, I get a discount to go to Knoxbury Farm, which I'm going to use pretty soon because, you know, spring break and all. So, the last race that I did was with a group of my friends, and it was another color run, and this one was way more organized compared to the weekend before. What made this experience cool was that, like, the views was so much better than the one in LA, and I did get separated from my friends during the race. There was this woman, and I was like, oh my gosh, she has boombox on her booty. That is so awesome. We should video this and send it to them and then The jammy pack is a fanny pack that has speakers on it. You hook it up to your MP3 player and it plays the music through the fanny pack. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to give myself one of those. So thanks, Erica, for letting me hang out with you and your friends. After a certain point, like, I saw my friends again, like, we crossed paths again. And they're like, hey, Ashley, right up ahead, there's this big metal slide. You gotta go down it. You gotta go down it. And I was like, what? In this time, and I just, like, booked it to this metal slide. And I went down it twice. And that alone pushed that race over the edge. And this is what the metal slide looked like. And I have videos of that as well. You've got to check out the second video where I have all the clips from the races. These last couple of months have really been like one of the best times of my life. I'm going out and meeting new people that I've always wanted to do. I'm more confident right now in my weight loss journey and in myself. Uh, what I haven't told you guys yet is that I have two interviews coming up. One is this Saturday and the other one is this upcoming Monday. And the Saturday one is for a position where I'd be chaperoning a group of high school students for two weeks in Japan. And the other one that's on Monday, it would mean me teaching English to children in Japan for the next two years. And if you guys have been watching my videos or if you know me very well, Japanese has been in my life since high school and I've always wanted to travel to Japan and these are basically the opportunities that I have right now. I mean, I have other ones, but these, these two are the ones that are on the top of my list. And so I guess I feel really positive right now because I'm going after my dreams. My dreams of being a healthier me and my dream of going to Japan. So I really hope that the Japan thing works out and I know that eventually the health one will work out so I want to thank you guys for supporting me and watching my videos and I really appreciate it so I see you guys in April bye